Hey guys, my name is Kelvin and I have a great tutorial for you. And in this tutorial, I like to explain you something. Do you know what an adjustment layer is? So everybody know an adjustment layer, right? But do you already know the check layer? Do you know what that is, a check layer? Well, a check layer is kind of an adjustment layer. Well, it's an adjustment layer, but normally you use the adjustment layer to make the image better. Better in contrast, to change the color. But in this tutorial, I'd like to explain you what you can do with the adjustment layer. Well, an adjustment layer is sometimes also good to find something out, to check the image. And that is the reason why I call that check layer. Let's say I like to retouch this image. And, well, it's very simple. I can create a blank layer. I choose here my uh, healing brush tool, and then I can start doing the retouching. But sometimes I have problems to see all the fine spots here, what I have to retouch. Well, it's sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. And for that, I'm creating a, a check layer. In this case, a check layer channel mixer. If you create a channel mixer and if you click to monochrome, you will get a black and white image. A skin has normally a lot of red tones. And if you bring down the red tones here and if you raise up here the blue tones, you will get a very high contrasty image. And then you can see all the differences here in the skin between dark and bright. And this, what I see right now, helps me a lot to do my skin retouching. So what I do right now, I, I go back here to my blank layer, and now I start with the retouching. I make sure that I have here the current and below. Do not retouch on all layers. You don't like to retouch the black and white image. The black and white adjustment layer is only for the view, for, for the check, to check out all the fine details. And now you can work here on the blank layer and you can do the retouching. This check layer or this adjustment layer um, channel mixer helps you also a lot if you do some dodging and burning to find out all the differences be between the brightness and, and the dark parts of the image. And this is something what I do every time when I retouch the skin, I create this kind of, yeah, I call that check layer. Maybe you will have a better name. Um, this is what I do if I do the retouching. And if I'm done with the retouching, I turn that off and then I can see my healing. So this is one check layer, but I have another one for you. So let me switch to another image. You can see here a model um, and uh, the shot was done on a gray seamless background and everything is fine, right? So I can publish that right now in the internet. But there is one problem. If you zoom in, maybe you can see that you forgot something. Can you see it? No. If you can't see something, create an adjustment layer, levels, and darken the whole image with this little slider here. Bring it to the right side. And now take a look again. If you can find something, what is not good? And now you can see, oh my God, I have to clean my camera. Now you can see the background looks horrible. I have a lot of dots here. I call that, I, I think the right name is dust, dust on my lens. And it looks very, very bad. I have to retouch this image, take a look. But without this check layer, well, the dust is still here. You can see it here a little bit, but you can't see it so good. And this is the reason why I create, at the end of my retouching, a check layer or adjustment layer levels to find out um, where are all the dust here and the spots. Of course, you can also say, no, I don't uh, have to do that because this is my final image and I like to publish it. You can see the dust. But out there are many people who are watching your pictures. They do not have a good screen, a good monitor. Maybe they have a, a screen like that. And then all the people will see the dust, but you can see it. So I think it's a good idea to turn on the check layer, to find that out, to retouch it. And then you make sure that nobody will see any grain. 
Another great tip is if you have dust or dirt on your screen, on your computer, then you can't retouch it. <laughs> what you have to do is press your spacebar and move your picture around. And if your dust, if the dirt is moving with you, then you know, okay, the dust is on your uh, picture. If the dust is not moving with the image, then you have to clean up your screen, your computer. Okay, guys, um, this was a very simple information, very simple tutorial, but this is, this is something what I do all the time, and I hope uh, you learn something or this helps you a little bit. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in one of my next tutorials.